So well, this is pretty cool. NVIDIA releases. Local chatbot. I mean, I'm sitting on a couple of RTX video cards from the last couple of years and um, they're not really doing anything except a, a game here or there. So this might actually put them into some really good use. So I haven't loaded this up yet and I'm going to go through and load this up. I have a folder full of these score sheets for my kids hockey games and from a couple of seasons ago and they played all these games. So I have 52 of these PDF files and they all look just like this one. And my interest is to see if I can use this new NVIDIA tool to compile all these game sheets and come out with some stats. Let me know who scored how many goals during the season, how many assists, how many total play, uh, penalty minutes any one of the players had. So I'm curious if this NVIDIA tool will be able to parse and interface with these um, game sheets and spit out that information. So um, let's give it a shot. So I haven't installed it yet. I'm going to go right from the start and see what it can do. So the first thing that I've already done actually is updated my drivers. So I got the latest drivers, uh, 551.52 which are required for the software. I'm going to go ahead and download now. Well, make sure you have enough room on your drive. This software is 35 gigs large. Now, while this is downloading, it does say it requires Windows 11. I've been holding out on Windows 10. So hopefully this installation will work on my version of Windows 10. I did read somewhere else that Windows 10 is compatible. So hopefully, um, we're not going to run into any issues because I don't feel like going through the hassle of bumping up to Windows 11. All right, this download has finished. Let's uh, extract this thing. Okay, so finished extracting this folder. Let's see what's in here. All right, setup. Let's go. Okay, so while I was installing, I ran into some problems. Uh, the f installer uh, crashed a couple times, and it seems to be a common issue. It would just crash out and fail the installer. It would freeze. And um, uh, I did some digging on the NVIDIA forums. Basically, it seems that if you're experiencing this issue, uh, the best thing to do is to let the installer install the application to the default location, which is uh, the C drive, my operating system drive. And uh, I don't have too much space on it. This, uh, this thing needs uh, just uh, about 100 gigabytes total for the install, plus the downloaded file um the installer which was 40 gigs so anyhow i had to move around a whole bunch of um uh, files and delete some things but when i did that and then relaunched the installer and uh, did a, a a fresh install we have success so let's let's see where we can go all right so let's launch yeah so i guess it's the uh console interface right here um no let's allow access to this Oh, all right, it's still going. It's still going. It's downloading some more. Let's see how much space it is occupying here. Okay, so the folder is up to 60 gigs, not quite 100. Um, what's going on here? We got a connection reset error. An existing connection was forcibly closed by the remote host. Oh, well, look at this. Look at this. I got a w browser window that popped up. Let's see if this works. But it's your name. I am an AI language and do not have a name. Okay. Seems like it's installed and working. Let's try some basic questions. What is 25 squared? Not bad. Who was the first American president? Not bad, not bad. What if I do that? And ask the same question. Oh, okay. It takes a while for changing the AI model. Okay. All right, let's try that. Okay, so it seems like Llama AI model is a little more particular than Mistral. 
Oh, very interesting. So this is running locally on my computer here. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's go with the task at hand. It's a little larger, easier to see. Okay, so here's my folder of game reports, or the game score sheets. Let's see how we can integrate it and see if it will be able to provide the stats I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm going to copy this folder directory. And what can we do here? YouTube, AI model defaults. Okay, change folder path. You know what, let's go to cancel. Because what else is in this folder? I'm going to very quickly check this folder. What's in there? I'm going to copy this. There. Weird. So how does it answer this question, knowing that George Washington was the first president and giving this reference, but it has nothing to do has absolutely zero reference to any American president, so it's only a small little text file. That's interesting. It's either it goes pulls the information from the web, or it had that information in its um, existing uh, LLM data set, which is part of the, uh, the 40 gig download. Interesting. Okay. Well, you know what? What I will do is I will put my game sheets into this folder. So here they are. How many game reports are in the data set? Do I have to relaunch this? Regenerate. Refresh data set. Here we go. Okay, so I just copied that, but I didn't refresh here, so I'm going to refresh the data set. Console. Oh, here we go. It's ready to go, huh? Okay. No, any, any, no, 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 no. That's not right. I can, we can't see more. Well, there's clearly more than four. So that's not the best, most correct answer. Okay. How many goals did it take up for? What? The context information only provides information about the scores of the teams and the players who scored them. but it does not provide any about the individual score. No, and goal or score. Hmm. That's not quite correct. Not quite correct. No, 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 no. All right, let's switch up the language model, the AI model. Let's go to Llama, see if that does better. For some reason, it's only choosing to reference. Okay, maybe it's because it's in a nested folder. Here, let's change this up. And yeah, we'll just link it directly just to reference these game reports. Here we go. I just asked who is Jacob and it went ahead. There's the number. Number. Oh, there we go. So it popped it up that time, 87. So it's referencing a reference file that it doesn't give in its list when I ask it what it's referencing. So I guess that's kind of good news because it lets me know that even though it claims it's only using four PDF files in the data set, it actually has dug into more it's got 87 over here so it's not being entirely truthful with me but let's let's see where we can go with this um
Okay. So, in this game, look at that. So, this particular game, Jacob wore a different number. Probably because he forgot his jersey. Um, and it does say that he scored a goal. So, I think that's because it's interpreting number 14 from the other team as scoring a goal. Yeah. So that's not entirely correct, but it's interesting. Now the whole reason I'm trying this exercise with this uh, chat with RTX models because it keeps all the data locally. Well, at the end of the day, this is still pretty cool. It's a local AI model running on my local hardware, and it allows me to, you know, start playing with stuff. Can, can you generate uh, a spread one? I have to help you, Sanko. Here's that you would like me to generate a spread with the following information. Whoa. Look at this. Should I be happy based on the... It appears that you would like me to generate the five for game number. All penalties or wait, all penalties. Add. number 19. Ah, uh, see? Now it's, this is pretty funny. It's actually asking me to do all the legwork. Could you please specify which game where you'd like to add the goals to? Additionally, could you please provide the goals you'd like to add? No, 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 no. This is what I would like you to do, chat with RTX. I want you to go through these game reports. And all the information is there, and I just want you to let me know. Hmm. Total number of penalties, total number of penalties per team, total number of penalties per game, most common penalty type. Total number of penalties, total number of penalties per team. Oh, based on... Okay. Alright, well, for now it seems that this version 0.2 is not capable of parsing all these PDFs adequately in order to provide useful statistics for the entirety of the season. How many goals were scored, how many penalties, etc. But there is there is some hope. There is some hope. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be very interested to see how this progresses. And I'll keep trying the, the new versions to see how they react differently uh, with this uh, small data set. Um, if you have experience using any AI model to parse um, statistics uh, uh, from game reports, um, whether it's hockey, soccer, football, baseball, what have you, and you've done it successfully, please let me know um, uh, because I, I have a few seasons worth of data that I would love to convert and, um, and get some cool stats going for the kids. We did the, at least we got it installed and going and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe uh, if you want to get notifications about my further videos experimenting with chat with RTX.